Hey guys, Mike is back with another review. Today we have a two monsters, right? The, the, this speaker is like a killer of any any other speakers. G Pro, as I say, like a before garbage, it's everything's garbage. Advertising uh, department, right? The garbage. They have really good speakers, really nice uh, the products, amplifiers. It's really really good for the genius audio, but they garbage to advertising so they, no, nobody knows about this company nobody use about this company because we didn't get the bright brainwash for this company right bnc every big guys knows every uh, you know the money guys knows what is the bnc so i was testing the bnc these speakers are very expensive right uh to, for paid it's gonna be 200 something dollars now these guys are around 65 dollars right uh g pro is placed from 200 hertz to uh, up to 85 hertz uh, the bnc also advertised like around 100 hertz but this guy it's placed no matter what signal you're gonna give him i tried to like couple times actually exactly this speaker right uh, i have a pair is this speaker try to burn it like it's side by side throwing tons of power to like a double power the advertising and it survived and it was playing like it's both niadim speakers uh the bnc the high quality it's like always a couple speakers i did really really good quality speakers i did the tons of video today you guys watch my other videos right expensive the cheap speakers comparison so this is specific for the harley davidson my brothers if you guys ride in the harley davidson lightweight niadim speakers and these speakers can get loud but the only thing you need is a saddlebag you need the some bass punchy because these speakers doesn't produce a lot of bass it's mid-range speakers but they can get loud i'm gonna play the couple of music for you guys right so i'm gonna start this this speaker that g pro is advertised like a from 200 hertz but if you have a smaller amplifier you can use like a full range speakers it's gonna handle the bass no problem watch so what we're gonna do we're gonna give them the both speakers full range lower volume even the lower that they play they play loud From beginning the notes uh g pro it was destroying a lot of speakers by the sensitivity right for the small volume they, they play right away the loud than the other speakers i tested with the, so many speakers uh, even they advertise like a, the 98 db like nine i think it's the 98 db it destroys like twice the power output loudness wise 100 db speakers right bnc is almost closer but the bnc is a quality wise a lot nicer if you want to listen to quality sound, you have to pay some money, right? These speakers like twice the price, more than twice the price. What, 224 pair and 134 pair, right? It's like very the big difference. But on the situations, the BNC, you got what you pay. These speakers will last. As I said before, I was throwing tons of power and these speakers like playing like monsters. So now we're going to tune the two speakers. I'm gonna cut uh, these speakers top on 100 hertz, and I'm gonna cut the lower. It's gonna be uh, top 10,000. Uh, the lower it's gonna be 100 hertz. So this speaker is supposed to be you're supposed to cut it's a 200, but this speaker is capable to play 100 hertz without any problem, even the loud volume. And I'm gonna cut to 200 hertz too. Okay, let's play. Let's play. Let, let, let's start from the BNC. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, as you can see, G Pro it still plays louder because it's a lot of MIDI producing on the speaker, and the bass is even the 100 hertz. It's it's more more than capable, right? I'm gonna give it a little bit more juice. It's gonna be loud, All right? Let's start from the VNC. <laughs> If you have a the motorcycle Harley Davidson for the saddle for the setup, definitely if you have money to invest, you want to get the you know the best of the best, no no matter what, get the BNCs. Will last long. Uh, you can spray on the top, right? The, you you know the waterproofing, the spray, uh, on the Amazon you can buy it for the for the shoes for the cloth waterproof spray. You spray it, nothing gonna happen because it has a special coating. Spray it so even you riding in the rain, you're not gonna have any problems. And these speakers will last and will play loud. And the good speakers, but you want a budget and loudspeaker. Go <laughs> G Pro is a really really good speaker, guys. Uh, trust me on that. You buy it, you install it, you're gonna be like amazed how how loud these speakers are. And the, even you doing the hundred miles on the highway with the you know the loud sound, you can be the capable to listen to music with the G Pro. But is there the limits? Now so I'm gonna give watch. I'm gonna tune them. Two hundred hertz. And I can give you the limits for the G Pro, but the BNC it will be playing again clean without cracking noise. That that's a crazy the BNC is like the advertising less uh, the RMS power is I think it's 150 watt RMS power, but this monster is going to be handling 250 watts, right? Okay, we cut 200 up and uh, lower is it, uh, up is 10,000 and low it's 200. Uh, I I can limit this, but you don't need that much loud, right? I can limit this uh, G Pro, but I don't know. BNC it will keep playing again. If if I give the more power, to BNC you will keep playing again. Watch. <laughs> So, BNC, no matter how to, how much perfect, but the volume you get, I, <coughs> I see G Pro is a maximum out. Yeah, if I give the more power, maybe I'm gonna burn the speaker, but it plays louder than BNC because sensitivity, like uh, the mid range, is like crazy. These speakers get loud, like stupid loud. The BNC is always keeps the quality from the zero to all the way hundred and two hundred percent the quality, but it's gonna get played really, really, really not. But again, expensive speaker. If you have a cash to, you know, just to buy the expensive speakers and the expensive uh, the uh, amplifiers and you know the DSPs, all that stuff, BNC way to go. I don't think so. Any any speaker can catch up with the BNC. Lightweight, right? Because it's the lightweight. Uh, use the Niagara magnets. Of course, you can buy the Sylvester with the big ass magnets. But where are you gonna install those? 
you can fit. It's going to be like a... And, and they, they, I, I don't think so that they're going to last long like a BNC, right? BNC is like, I think it's a lifetime one purchase. I'm out, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Comment below and subscribe to my channel. Let's talk in the comment section.